The festive season is meant to be a time of joy, a time for families to come together and celebrate. But for many struggling families in the UK, Christmas is overshadowed by a very real and pressing concern making ends meet. The cost of living crisis, with its soaring energy bills and ever-increasing food prices, has pushed countless households to the brink. And in the face of this hardship, the government's paltry £10 Christmas bonus feels less like a festive treat and more like a cruel joke. This year, a public petition is gaining traction, demanding that the government address this issue and provide a much-needed increase to the Christmas bonus. This isn't just about a few extra pounds, it's about dignity, respect and recognising the very real struggles faced by those who rely on this bonus. The current amount, frozen in time since 1972, is a slap in the face to those who are already struggling to put food on the table and heat their homes. The petition serves as a stark reminder that the government needs to do more to support its most vulnerable citizens, especially during what should be the most wonderful time of the year. The petition, steadily gaining signatures, lays bare the public's frustration and disappointment. It calls for an immediate and significant increase to the Christmas bonus, reflecting the harsh realities of the cost of living crisis. People aren't asking for extravagance, they're asking for a lifeline. They're asking for a Christmas bonus that actually makes a difference. A bonus that helps alleviate the stress and anxiety of simply surviving the festive period. The comments section of the petition is a testament to the struggles faced by everyday people. Stories of having to choose between heating and eating, of parents skipping meals to feed their children, of the elderly shivering in their homes because they can't afford to turn on the heating. These stories are a stark reminder that behind the statistics and economic figures, there are real people, real families, experiencing real hardship. The petition, in its simplicity, is a cry for help, a plea for recognition and a demand for action. The year is 2008. The global financial crisis grips the world and the UK is not immune to its devastating effects. In a move widely praised at the time, the Labour government took decisive action, temporarily raising the Christmas bonus to £70. This wasn't about reckless spending, it was about recognising the severity of the situation and providing a much-needed lifeline to those hit hardest by the crisis. Fast forward to 2024, and the UK faces another crisis, this time fueled by soaring inflation and an unprecedented cost of living squeeze. The current situation, many argue, is as dire as it was in 2008, if not worse. Yet, the government's response has been decidedly muted. The £10 Christmas bonus, a relic of a bygone era, remains woefully inadequate in the face of such hardship. The public's demand is clear. The government must channel the spirit of 2008 and take bold action to address the current crisis. £10. In 1972, when the Christmas bonus was first introduced, it might have held some weight. But in 2024, against the backdrop of a full-blown cost-of-living crisis, it's an insult a drop in the ocean of financial hardship faced by so many. What can you realistically buy with £10 in today's economy? A few loaves of bread? A couple of gallons of milk? It's hardly enough to make a dent in the weekly shop, let alone provide any meaningful relief during the festive season. The government's insistence on clinging to this outdated and frankly insulting amount is a testament to their disconnect from the realities faced by ordinary people. It's time they woke up to the fact that £10 in 2024 is simply not enough. It's time for a significant increase, one that reflects the true cost of living in modern Britain and provides real, 
tangible support to those who need it most. Section 5 When £10 meant something A history lesson Let's take a trip down memory lane, back to 1972, when the £10 Christmas bonus was first introduced. Back then, £10 could buy you a week's worth of groceries, maybe even with some change to spare. It was a time when a tenner could make a real difference, a time when the Christmas bonus actually felt like a bonus. But times have changed, drastically. The relentless march of inflation has eroded the value of the pound, and the £10 Christmas bonus, frozen in time, has become a pale shadow of its former self. What was once a welcome boost is now a painful reminder of how out of touch the government has become. It's a stark illustration of how inflation disproportionately impacts those on low incomes, those who rely on government support to make ends meet. Section 6. The Faces of Struggle Real Stories, Real Impact Behind the statistics and economic jargon, there are real people, real families, struggling to cope with the cost of living crisis. Take Sarah, a single mother of two, who relies on universal credit to support her family. The £10 Christmas bonus feels like an insult, she says, her voice laced with frustration. It doesn't even cover the cost of a Christmas dinner, let alone presents for the kids. Then there's John, a pensioner who relies on his state pension and the Christmas bonus to get by. I remember when £10 could actually buy you something, he says, a hint of sadness in his voice. Now, it's barely enough for a few days' worth of heating. These stories are not isolated incidents. They are the reality for countless individuals and families across the UK. The cost of living crisis has pushed many to the brink and the government's inadequate response is only exacerbating the problem. Section 7. The power of the people. Making voices heard. Throughout history, petitions have served as a powerful tool for change a way for the people to make their voices heard and demand action from those in power. The current petition calling for an increase to the Christmas bonus is no different. It represents a collective call for dignity, for recognition and for a government that prioritises the needs of its most vulnerable citizens. Every signature on the petition is a testament to the very real struggles faced by ordinary people. It's a message to the government that they cannot continue to ignore the plight of those struggling to make ends meet. The power of the petition lies in its ability to amplify these voices, to bring the issue to the forefront of public consciousness and to pressure the government into taking meaningful action. Section 8. A call to action. Demand more, demand better. The time for complacency is over. The government's inaction in the face of this cost of living crisis is simply unacceptable. We cannot stand idly by while our fellow citizens struggle to put food on the table and heat their homes. We must demand more, demand better for ourselves, for our communities and for the future of our country. Sign the petition, write to your MP, share your story. Let the government know that the current £10 Christmas bonus is an insult and that a significant increase is long overdue. Let them know that we will not be silent while our friends, families and neighbours struggle to make ends meet. Let them know that we demand action and we demand it now. Section 9 this Christmas. Choose compassion. As the festive season approaches, let us remember the true spirit of Christmas compassion, generosity and a commitment to helping those in need. The £10 Christmas bonus, in its current form, is a symbol of indifference. 
a stark reminder of the government's disconnect from the realities faced by 